Very distinguished colleagues, I am Ahmed Ibrahim Law and I represent TOB North. Mr. President, I stand up to support this very important motion and of course, as someone from your I represent those who have sponsored the motion. Distinguished colleagues, the body of the motion itself is self-explanatory. All the details that we need to know are here. And the submissions by the sponsor of the motion, Senator Goji and Senator Kakeshe Ulawan, have gone further to explain what the body of this motion is all about. I want to come from a different perspective. The late 90s, UNDP categorized the northeastern part of Nigeria to be the poorest in Nigeria, the late 90s. And this situation has remained to date. Mr. President, when we are talking about restoring electricity in the Northeast, what we have is minuscule. It's small compared to what other parts of the country get. So in addition to getting the restoration, in fact, we'll be asking for justice. Because power, energy, helps in development of industries and, in fact, livelihood, livelihood generally. We don't have in our areas, and the little that we had was taken away. Mr. President, the northeastern part of Nigeria is one part of Nigeria where we were promised Mambila hydroelectricity power. Since 70s, late 70s, to date, not one kilometer of road has been constructed to usher in the construction of that dam. Poverty is so entrenched in the lives of our people. Mr. President, imagine a section of Nigeria where despite the backwardness, insurgents came and destroyed institutions of learning, particularly our primary schools and secondary schools. And educationally today, the Northeast is suffering so much because we are backward, we are being stopped from making any further progress. So the totality of what we have in the Northeastern part of Nigeria today is a section of Nigeria that requires full and complete and total attention of the federal government. We thank the federal government of Nigeria that we have the Northeast Development Commission. But the Northeast Development Commission alone cannot handle the development challenges in the Northeast today. So I support this motion wholeheartedly. But I feel that, Mr. President, when you will take the lead in pursuing our case, we should go beyond just restoring the electricity that we have that is not even enough in any way in that part of the country because we received the list. Thank you very much for the privilege. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I am Mohammed Benji Mogoje, representing Ngombe Central, Ngombe State. Mr. President, I stand to second and support this very important motion which borders on the extreme hardship being experienced <coughs> by all the states of the Northeast, including parts of Plateau State. Mr. President, for over one month now, the Northeast region, all the six states and part of Plateau have been in total darkness 24 hours, non-stop. And the reason is just because some few towers 
of the 330 kV transmission line have been vandalized. And the transmission line has been supposedly working on these stores for the past maybe 30 or 40 days. Up to now, no tangible results has come out. Mr. President, it is very appealing that a very, very important part of this country, comprising six states and part of Plateau, can be kept in darkness non-stop. And nothing to show on the part of TCN uh, to show that they are really very serious to solve this problem. People have been complaining, we have been co complaining in Mama, we have gone to them, we have written to them, our governors have talked to them, traditional rulers, national assembly members, individually, and yet there's no result. That's why we are now coming to the national assembly, to the Senate in particular, to intervene on behalf of our suffering people to ensure that electricity, electricity is restored to notice without delay. Um, the mover of the motion has also touched on the need, I think I need to explain that, on the need to construct the Makade Jialongo 330 KV line. The idea is to have what they call double circuit. If we have this Makude uh, Jialongo line, uh, if we have faults along Joss, Gombe line, we can still, if, uh, the six sisters can still get light through the Makade, Jialongo, uh, Yola, Gombe transmission line. That's what they call double circuit. But what we have now is single circuit. And it doesn't cost much if we can do that. That will solve the problem of electricity in the Northeast. Without doing that, any small fault, even, even one tower is affected, the entire region will be in darkness. So, Mr. President, we urge you uh, to intervene, in addition to these three prayers, if possible, to personally call. Because it's very, very serious. People are desperate. No, as a result of this lack of electricity, there's no water. There's no water. And because of this, there are serious health problems. And there are serious health problems in fact, there is hunger. So many things are associated with this lack of electricity to the extent that we have very serious challenge of security because of, as a result of darkness, because uh, uh, crooks, thieves, bandits prefer darkness to light. And that's what is happening. So we're in serious danger. And that's why we're calling for urgent intervention of the Senate led by Mr. President who is the uncommon leader. I want you to show your uncommon intervention in this matter to ensure that light is restored to us immediately. Thank you, Mr. President. The Constitution, the peace of the Senate before you move him there. I think it is the responsibility of uh, Senate services because my leader always takes care of me. Let me speak for you, leader. Anyway, proceed so long as uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President, uh, distinguished colleagues. This is a very, very vital, important, and uh, significant issue that is being brought to bear or to the fore. I sympathize with the people of Northeast for lack of uh, electricity for more than a month. Uh, which speaks volume of negativity in every facet of our livelihood today. But this issue, because of the importance of power in contemporary world, shouldn't be only confined or limited to North, to North East. It is a general problem. And so really and truly today, without electricity, you virtually can achieve nothing. Virtually nothing can be achieved without electricity. The local communication we were used to does no longer exist. 
It is all to do with uh, our phones. And so without electricity to charge, I mean, the natives being able to charge their phones, how do they transact businesses? When we, the, 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 the government of today, uh, or the financial system today, preaches, propagates, and does all it can to institutionalize uh, 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 financial inclusion, cashless economy. It is all to do with this. And if there is no power to, to charge electricity, I mean, your phones, how do they transact uh, businesses? As a native growing up in my local community, what we used to, to have no longer exists. The traditional grinding machine that we grind corn and um, all our consumables that uh, need to be grinded. Today, that does no longer exist. You use electrical uh, 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 machines to grind all you need for your daily consumptions. So without electricity, nothing can really be achieved. And this issue of electricity all around the country, uh, Mr. President, like Senator Ahmed Lawan said, as, un as uncommon as we know you to be, this 10th Senate should be much more uncommon in addressing the issue of electricity in Nigeria. Because I can really not understand why the, why, why the, the inability to solve this problem in this country. All the sources of power generation that technology has provided in the world today, Nigeria has all those sources of power generation. And yet, we still don't have electricity. My local community is not exempted from uh, the situation of uh, lack of electricity. And we're talking corruption, I mean fighting corruption. How do we fight corruption when, 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 I mean, where life is so expensive, so difficult for people to live? The cost of diesel is a problem. The cost of this is a problem. And the government of the day is doing the best it, it can. But if we allow things like this to continue the rate at which they are going, Nigerians will not appreciate the efforts of this government. But you notice that the, the motion, it, it is not that government failed to provide... I am, going, I am going there, Mr. President. No, no they, they start from there. Because you have to, you, you have to, um, you have to tell your, your contribution towards the motion. The motion is saying that as a result of vandalization of the TCN lines, that the, uh, 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 the entirety of the Northeast today has stayed without electricity. And then Senator Kaka said that some areas, because of uh, insecurity and also the same vandalization, had even stayed for two years. But now, of recent, it has now extended to the whole uh, states of the, of, the, of the entire region. So, and then Senator Ahmed Lawan pointed out that federal government has tried to introduce the Northeast Development Commission and that that will help in terms of uh, improving the infrastructure, but it is not enough. The government needs to do more in order to ensure that that area is taken as a special development area. Mr. So President, for, for also I am... Anything. I am so, I, I, so uh, if you are saying that you can't understand why Nigeria has not moved forward in electricity, in the same way that you can't understand why some people are tall and some people are short, that is a simple truth. The country is not in uh, need of ideas or speeches, but we, we, the country is in need of action. And what we are talking about now is that everybody must contribute. All hands must be on deck. The vandals must stop in order for the Northeast to have electricity. And government must also do its best to expand the coverage. So I, I believe we are on the right track. So what's, what's the difference between... So please, uh, right. I had not, I am not, and shall not talk out of point. Um, vandalization is a common problem everywhere, and those that are into this should be called to order. And having said that, I am, and I did say that the government of the day is doing the best it's, it can. 
to, to ensure that uh, this situation is, is being handled. But if things like this continue, Nigerians will not appreciate. So really and truly, Mr. President, uh, what you said and what I said are on the same path. So um, we should all do the needful. So you support the motion? Of course, I support the motion. That's why I raised you. my hand and you recognized me, sir. Thank you. Thank you. A distinguished senator, in addition, that it will also assist to give light to the uh, Northeast. So the person was suggesting two sources of transmission, which will make it sustainable outside the repair of the immediate damaged transmission line. Please go ahead. Political zone. And the Senate was on short recess for Easter and Salah break. Immediately the things happened, the incident happened, I contacted the Chairman Senate Committee on Power. We discussed extensively, and I moved to contact the Managing Director and Management of TCN Nigeria Limited. And the Excellency and my distinguished colleagues, I'm happy to say that the Managing Director and the Management of TCN acted promptly by asking their contractor to move to site immediately. The contractor moved to site and promised to deliver before the end of May. His own date is 27. At the moment, I've been in constant touch with the management of TCN and the contractor, and God willing, by Saturday this week, power will be restored to the Northeast geopolitical zone. Your Excellency and my distinguished colleagues, I want to specifically align myself with what the former president of the Senate said. The Northeast geopolitical zone is a forgotten and a zone that has been completely neglected, more, expected, more especially the corridor between Benue, Taraba, and Adamawa has been neglected for the whole period of the existence of Nigeria. That is why you don't see rail along that line. You don't see major federal highway along that line. The only federal highway that existed along that line is a Trans-Saharan road uh, supported by the African Development Bank, which is supposed to start from Calaba and end in Tripoli. Your Excellency, my distinguished uh, colleagues, I will want us to support this motion to mount further pressure on TCN and its contractor to employ more hands more hands in handling the towers, even though they assured me this weekend that Saturday unfailingly they will restore power to the Northeast geopolitical zone. Your Excellency, my distinguished colleagues, as I said, Northeast, Northeast, Northeast. Your Excellency, the former Senate President has explained that Mambila Power Project was promised to us years back. Your Excellency and my distinguished colleagues, there is nothing like Mambila Hydro Project. Even the site that was earmarked for this project, it has no accessible road. Nobody has been there. A lot of money has been expended on that project that doesn't exist at all. Not even the survey has been completed. Your Excellency and my distinguished colleagues, I think on the issue of hydro, Mambula Hydro Project, we need to constitute a special committee to look into the dubious means of awarding that contract. A total neglect to due process and a total violation of procurement act and waste of money. Yes? Your Excellency, we, the Senate need to constitute an ad hoc committee to look into Mambila Hydro Project. When I was the chairman of public procurement in the 9th Senate, I was opportune to read 
the procurement process. Your Excellency, it's a dubious process. Nobody is supposed to come up and claim two million, three million dollars for doing nothing. Three million dollars will improve the life of the life of citizens in the Northeast geopolitical zone. Your Excellency, the Senate needs to do something special on Mambila Hydro project. Your Excellency, let me use this opportunity to thank the management of TCM for their prompt action to handle the situation. Your Excellency, the issue of power in the Northeast zone, especially during the hot season, has its own untold hardship on our people. People lost their lives, lost their business. People have so many health issues because of lack of power during the peak period of hot season in the Northeast geopolitical zone. And in supporting and associating myself with this motion, I second the motion and congratulate all those that put their heads together to bring about this motion. I so second. Thank you. Mr. President, uh, this motion is very important. Just last week, the governors of uh, Northeast Geopolitical Zone had a meeting. And in that meeting, this issue re-echoed you know, prominently and uh, called on the federal government to restore power supply in that geopolitical zone. Mr. President, I want us to go beyond restoration of electricity supply in the Northeast. We should find out the culprits, those that are responsible for the vandalization of power lines. It is considered as economic sabotage for people to go and destroy government properties, whether it is uh, electricity power towers or rail lines, roads, infrastructure generally. And Mr. President, even if these people are caught, within a very short period of time, we find them to be set free. So, to me, we are not serious as a nation. Those that are responsible for this should be punished. And in addition to that, Mr. President, those is governors also promised that each of the governors should try and construct 10 kV line of solar e electricity, simply because what they have is not enough. This is to complement whatever the federal government is doing. And uh, I, 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 I see this as a novel idea, and it's worthy of emulation by all the governors. For power supply in Nigeria is really not enough. Generally speaking, wherever you go, whether it is north, east, north, west, north, central, south, west, south, south, the story is the same. So if our governors can collaborate with the federal government, and opportunity has already been given by the, by the amendment of the Power Electricity Act that gave opportunities to governors to come in and generate power, distribute power uh, to uh, service their people. So I support this motion and uh, I urge all my colleagues to do it. I'm happy to hear that uh, the TCN has already responded and they promised to restore uh, the power supply in the Northeast before the end of this month. I hope, I sincerely hope that they will uh, fulfill this promise. And if they do, Mr. President, uh, we should uh, call them and thank them very much for doing that. And there is also an opportunity for TCN and even distribution company, Mr. President. The former president, uh, President Bahari, signed a bilateral agreement with the German government. Uh, when Angela Merkel, the former chancellor of uh, Germany, came into Nigeria, he complained that uh, our major problem in Nigeria is power supply. 
and she immediately directed Siemens. It's an electricity giant. It's a very big company that is known for electricity supply and generation. He directed, she directed that company to come and study the power problem in Nigeria and do their best to handle it. And I understand they are already in the country and they have done quite a lot of work. So we should also see the opportunity of directing TCN to instruct Siemens to go and see what's happening in the Northeast with the view of restoring power supply. And so that's my case, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, the senior colleagues has, is that there is really nobody. Karaba Central. Urgent needs arise to move the motion for the urgent need to address the vandalization of TCN lines in the Northeast region of Nigeria. The Senate notes that <coughs> the vandalization of critical electricity transmission infrastructure poses a significant threat to the economic prosperity, public health, safety and security of the Northeast region of Nigeria. Further note that recent incident of vandalization along the Jos Gombe 330 kV transmission line have resulted in severe disruption to power supply affecting the millions of residents, hospitals, commercial activities, communication networks, public safety, and the overall well-being of the people of Plateau, Bauchi, Gombe, Adamawa, Taraba, Yobe, and Borno states. Aware that the frequent vandalization of transmission lines, especially the disruption of TCN towers, not only disrupt the electricity supply in the affected states, but also compromises essential services such as healthcare and education. It also is a space in security issues and imposes a heavy financial burden on public resources for the repair and replacement of infrastructural damages. Further aware that the indirect effect of power outages on food production further strain the food inflation of the country infecting the availability and affordability of agricultural products, particularly in the Northeast region, which is a major cultivator and producer. Inform that the proposed alternative transmission line route, namely the construction of the Makodi Jalingo 330 kV transmission line offer a viable solution to mitigate the risks of vandalization and improve the resilience and reliability of the electrical infrastructure in the region. Also inform that by investing in alternative transmission routes and enhancing security measures, we can safeguard the well-being of our communities promote economic stability, and ensure the reliability supply of electricity for all residents and businesses. Further inform that the Presidential Power Initiative, PPI, agreement between Nigeria and Germany, aims to boost Nigeria's power infrastructure by rehabilitating and expanding it is its electricity grid. It involves the construction of new power plants, upgrading existing ones, and improving transmission 
and distribution networks. Germany, through its development bank, KFW, is providing financial and technical support for this initiative. Conscious that it is profitable for the nation to enhance accessibility and affordability of high quality power supply services to support these states and their citizens. Resolve to urge the federal government through the Federal Ministry of Power to, as a matter of urgency, allocate funds to the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TSN, to address the fault along the Josgombe 330 kV transmission line and restore power supply to affected areas, especially on all affected towers. Also urge the federal government of Nigeria in line with the Renew Hope agenda of President Bola Ahmad Tinubu to expedite the construction of the Makodi Jalingo 330 kV transmission line in alignment with the transmission rehabilitation and expansion program, TREP, and the Presidential Power Initiative, PPI, to connect the Northeast region to the Southeast Transmission Network. Mandates the Federal Ministry of Power to implement the recommendation outlined in Section 209, 210, 211, 212, and 213 of the Electricity Act 2023 to enhance the security of transmission infrastructure. Also, to collaborate with security agencies and local vigilantes in host communities of TCN transmission line to data and prevent acts of vandalism. I so move, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the civil servants are little pointed out is that even the governors are already exploring ways of bringing additional uh, 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 power supply to the north is uh, through the uh, green energy, through solar, and uh, by constructing about 10 kilometers, 10 kilowatts, 10 kilowatts of uh, uh, solar uh, uh, panels. And um, I, I, I think this is a noble a idea. But also recall that when the ambassador of uh, Germany to Nigeria came, we brought up the issue of the Simmons contract. And then we pointed out that the initial intention was not for them to become suppliers of uh, equipment. It was supposed to be a turnkey project where they would bring the equipment, install the equipment, run the equipment for a while, and then hand over to Nigerians. But I think somewhere along the line, somebody went and tried to change them to suppliers, which means they can come and dump the equipment here and go back home. And then they say that we have capacity to install. And at the end, the, 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 it will make nonsense of the effort of the former administration. So we pleaded with the ambassador to do everything possible to go back to the original agreement where the Simons will come, not just as equipment suppliers, but will come in on a turnkey level, supply the equipment, install the equipment, test run the equipment, run it for a while, and then train our people, and then hand over to our people. So, so, uh, so I, I do hope that the Committee on Legislative Compliance is monitoring to be sure that that decision of the Senate is being uh, adhered to. Otherwise, we'll have equipment uh, lying at the wall for the next 10 years uh, without, uh, without uh, being cleared. So having said that, we can go into the prayers, unless Salisu Musava, you have something to add? 